The Northern Lights are a beautiful, natural sight that throw millions of people across the globe, but the phenomena behind them can be violent and destructive. You Calgary researchers investigate what's going on with the weather in space. Space weather is a set of processes that happen in the region of space right around the Earth. It includes the radiation belts and, and what we call the Earth's magnetosphere and parts of the Earth's upper atmosphere. And these are powered by the sun and they are the equivalent of terrestrial weather, only they are happening in space. And one of the great beautiful effects is the northern lights and the southern lights, the aurora. How does space weather work? There's a solar wind, which is the sun's outer atmosphere, which expands out through space all the time. The Earth's magnetic field interacts with the solar wind, and that causes energy from the solar wind to be pumped into the region of space around the Earth. And that powers all kinds of interesting physical processes. It drives giant electrical currents, it drives you know, motion of gas, and it affects the Earth's upper atmosphere, and it provides the energy for what causes the aurora. There are different kinds of space weather, and say more extreme events, less extreme events. And there are very extreme space weather events, the equivalent of tsunamis. And if one happened today in our, in our society that increasingly depends on space assets for how we function, that could have catastrophic effects. We believe it would probably knock out every satellite in orbit around the Earth. We've woven space technology into everything that we do, right? So we use GPS. Right? That's a space technology. We use, when we do banking, we use space technology. When we look, we look at weather predictions, we use space technology. So, and if you just wrecked all of those assets, it would take years and years to build that up. What is the importance of observing the aurora? The variations in that environment that we call space weather, they cause variations in the aurora. And we use variations in the aurora to actually tell us about what's happening globally, and so I say the aurora is our best way of understanding the multi-scale dynamics that are at play in that environment. How does space weather relate to Canada? Actually, about 90% of the land in the world that's under the auroral oval in both hemispheres is in Canada. And so we have the best position from the ground to observe the aurora and associated processes, which means studying space weather on the mesoscale or multi-scale level. How is you, Calgary, a leader in this field? For more than 40 years, people at the University of Calgary have been studying the aurora. So we've capitalized on the fact that we have this wonderful view of the aurora from Canada, and we've learned how to image the aurora from the ground, and we've developed science programs around the data that we got from imaging the aurora from the ground. Now, at the same time, while we were developing those science programs, we actually developed arguments for having space missions and space instruments that also image the aurora and do other observations of particles and, and fields that are associated with these phenomena.